Hi, this is Wendy Ackett from Ackett's Handmade Pie Company. Today we're going to talk about quality control and what we look for in a pie after it's baked. Here Dave is walking through the pies checking for quality. This pie is beautiful. The first thing that jumps out at you is how beautiful golden brown the top crust is. The edges are golden brown. The center of the pie is also golden brown. Uh, they hit it just right. We would give this pie a 95% on a score from 0 to 100. Okay, so these cherry pies look a little light in color. They're not quite as uh, golden brown as the last ones we were looking at. They were maybe sugared a little too heavy in the center, creating a barrier for the heat to really brown the crust. Or maybe the oven wasn't hot enough, or maybe they weren't in the oven long enough. So we use a nice even coat of granulated sugar. We sprinkle it evenly, make sure that it's not built up in one area heavier than another. Um, if it's too heavy on the top of the crust, it's gonna prevent the crust from browning properly. We use about 10 to 12 grams of granulated sugar sprinkled evenly over the top crust. This double crust apple pie here isn't perfect. The sugaring was not done in a nice even coat, it's spotty. Um, we give it about an 85%. It's not perfect, but it's passable. So okay, these three cherry pies here are clearly overbaked. The edges are just too dark. These don't make the grade. Uh, we cannot pass these pies. I think that the oven was too hot because the centers are still a little bit lighter in color and the edges are brown. That tells me that the oven may have been too hot. So now we are looking at six inch blueberry pies. They look pretty nice. They're hand crimped. Um, they don't get a perfect score. You can see that the top crust was not crimped to the bottom crust as tight as it should be. Kind of split open here in a few spots. You can see that the boil out leaked through the edge of the pie. It's okay. It's passable. It is still a pretty pie. It's very handmade. So here we need to talk about boil out. What is boil out? It's when the heat breaks down the fruit, juices start coming out and mixing with the sugar and starch, and that's going to create a nice slurry that you're looking for. The temperature is going to raise that slurry and it's going to boil out through the vents or the sides of the pie. You know then that you've hit the right temperature. So you want a little bit of boil out, but too much is not good. Not enough is not good either. So you want to make sure that the center of your pie reaches to 180 degrees. As you can see, these beautiful double crust apple pies were placed too close to the edge of the sheet pan and the boil out spilled down the side of the oven rack onto the other pies. So we're looking at the parchment paper here beneath these apple pies and it looks like there was a little bit too much boil out. So what we're gonna do is put these apple pies on a scale, see what the weight is. Did we lose too much volume? It is reading 3.08 pounds. It needs to be at least 3.14. So this apple pie is not for sale. It doesn't meet the required weight. So we want to make sure that the bottom crust has browned nicely and that it's baked all the way through too. There's nothing worse than a pie that looks beautiful on top and then you get to the bottom crust and it is still raw and underbaked and kind of gooey. So here Dave is flipping this pie upside down. As you notice, there's a technique to it and he uses a pizza tray with a piece of parchment paper over it and he is placing that on top of the pie and then flipping the pie over as not to destroy the pie, gently peeling back the pie tin. And you can see that the bottom crust looks pretty good. You've got some golden brown. You've got a little bit of white spots here, but that's okay. This pie, this pie looks good. It is passable, it's beautiful. Here my husband Dave is looking at these beautiful Dutch apple pies. They have the buttercrumb topping on top and the baker had sprinkled it just right. Covered the entire top of the pie, not too heavy, not too light. The browning is perfect. It's golden brown all the way through. Uh, speaking of boil out, you can see that just the right amount of juice had seeped out of the edge of the pie there. Look at the parchment paper with those uh, spots of boil out on the parchment paper. He's probably not even gonna have to weigh this pie. It just, it feels right. He's going to give these pies a score of 
Well, we hope this video has helped you and that you have a better idea of what to look for when baking your own pies at home or in your own little pie shop. Thank you very much. And if you would like to see more videos, please subscribe.